Hello guys, um, I just want to say I will now keep my FOV on 88, I hope you guys can live with it, and um, it's not too bad for me either, I mean, better than it's all the way down, this is really annoying for me, and all you guys think this is really annoying, so I will just keep it in between, and um, yeah, for the video of course, and um, made another 4x4, this time with Smellen. Um, yeah, make sure to check them out, and um, yeah, you will think, what a giant 4x4 door, but that's thinking if it would be a normal 4x4 door, so as you can see, it's not even seamless, but that has a purpose, so if we hit the button, too close, so it's button upgraded, and as you can see, it has a really weird kind of animation, but that's because it's a multi-input for the floor, so I can use all these items to input as well, like torch there, um, to open it we can put the button there, and to close it we can use a redstone block, um, we can use a lever, um, we could use fresh plates, and um, yeah, as I told you, it's pretty big, it's um, for white, but that's because the layout is pretty advanced, so for your regular for a folder, you would have a double piston, um, double piston extender on either side. But for this, we have a double piston extender here. And we have a double piston extender there and there, so that makes it three already instead of two. And um, we have a triple extender there and a triple extender here. So <laughs> that's. Um, makes it a lot bigger of course so I will just show you closing like that and opening like that so <laughs> yeah it's pretty crazy um, so I will just show you with my hands on one half of the door what happens. So first of all he pushes this all inwards and that as well. Um, then this will push it all up. Then these two push inwards. Then this will push down. Then this extends and push down as well. So that's the uh, closing and then for the opening we have a triple piston extender here which will oh no wait um we first of all retract that then have a triple piston extender here which will grab this block put it all the way there then we uh, grab that block and pull it down there then we have this block with the piston extender then this will just normally retract this will retract there and this will get put up so it's pretty darn advanced so that's why it's that big and actually thinking of it does all that things all those things sorry it's pretty small actually so i'm pretty fast as well if you look at those yeah, doubles and such so um, yeah, let's go to the tutorial. So for um, the tutorial, you would of course find the place uh, you want to make your folder for there. Um, then for the layout, you want to have a double at top, pistons to push uh, this block inwards, then two pistons that just push out regularly, then a double piston extender here a piston here to push the block up inwards um, two blocks here and then the triple just one block here and uh, stick piston facing down all of these are sticky by the way um, 
yeah so you can copy it now and I will just show how to make um, half of the door because um, the other half is the same uh, almost same the top isn't so I will not make the top uh, uh, I will just make half of the door without the top and then copy uh, the other half in and then show you how to make the top so it um, like that like that and like that um, then of course the really important part of this door is this triple or oh, yeah important part as well I mean so we would just start with that um, no that's wrong like this Uh, this actually needs to be like that, sorry um, I only made this once before so I'm just doing this uh, yeah it's not I'm yeah <laughs> I will forget some parts of the design but um, I hope I will do it about right in this uh, this time so but excuse me if I do some small things wrong the first time oops like this needs to be up on this yeah edge you could say um so I would have that there oh, oops forget to grab mm, this sorry that um, I needed a uh, half slab as well, or not one, a bunch actually. So half slab there, so the power doesn't go down, only up. And then um, go up there, half slab here again, so just power that. And then we need a trip wire hook as well. So grab that and place it there um, then the input for the triple half slap there so because it powers this piston through the block otherwise um, half slap there as well so the power gets up um, I meant to do that that there, this needs to be spilled out again on this edge. Um, one tick there, half slap here, two ticks there, that's on that zone, and a block. Um, so that should be the triple and uh, part of the closing, well, yeah, the bottom part. Um, then our double extender, so yeah, well, we will just get the signal up all the way first so just like that then we go like that and that and block there so that's on all of these so this is the one that goes from the input still um, then we want a half slap there some on top and this wire will power this block as well which it shouldn't but it's a torch and this is only one tick so the torch uh, won't go off and even if it would this is four ticks so it would need to go off four ticks and it doesn't it doesn't even go off for one tick so that's nice um block there then we want a dual edge here so just like this there and then we want this to update it um, and then we want to grab a pulse from there and we only want to power this spot so we place a piston here so it doesn't go to there because 
it is piston will retract at the moment that this block power is the redstone so that's nice and um, yeah this should be your bottom done I think so um, oh no wait got an uh, important part um, three there two there two there block there block there and that's in there so it will do that um, this will push out to there and then this double will so it will get there eventually and then the opening What did I do wrong? Got some on top there for sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me figure out what I did wrong. Okay, um, I just forgot one simple thing, you need a furnace up here so it doesn't push up, so um, if you look at it now it works just fine, so um, let me copy this part to the other side and you can do the same and then I will show you how to finish the top part so for the rest of the door you want to place like this, two ticks there, two ticks there. Let's on top here, um, blocks here. Um, there's going to be lots in there, so cut it off. Same there. Um, and a block on top. Um, then we want this part. Same for both sides. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a little bit same still, but it's easier to show it like this in my opinion. So, um, we do disconnect that. Um, oh, sorry, I made it one too low. Um, like this. All two ticks in there. Um, here we want it a little bit different, so you grab the regular piston and place it here, I think. Um, hmm. Yeah, on top of there. So you want your half slabs again, place them here. Then your three two ticks repeaters there. That needs to be um two ticks because this will then extend and pull up and give these pistons a one tick pulse so they will spit it out and fetch so um then oops for the piston extender here you would want uh I'll keep removing the frozen stuff like that and wider um then you want Three ticks on both of those. Uh, no touch there, for sure. That there. Um, one tick going in there. One tick, one tick. want it there as well, then you want here your monostable 
you could put that there. And then here your cortic repeater. Um, then you want to give this a second pulse, so you do that by two, ta two, two tick repeaters there. Then some redstone there. And place your stick piston there with a redstone block there. And then we want to grab an output from there. One higher. Um, one tick on there and one tick there then you place piston there with the block Good. and one tick there and here you want four ticks so this makes a T flip flop so it only uh, it gives two pulses when closing but only one pulse when opening so, um, yeah, I think that should be it, uh, it. so let me um, test it, um, yeah, so really nice, and there we go, so um, then you can get uh, inputs on a lot of different ways, and Oh, okay, that's not it. So, one thing to make it uh, have a lot more inputs, you will have to need, uh, yeah, to add rats on there. Grab two hoppers and place them into each other. And just uh, item which doesn't stack, like a wooden sword. Uh, I I'm not really good with this, uh, yeah, I think these inventories are still pretty glitchy, I liked them uh, better before, um, didn't, okay, that's what just disappeared, which is kind of random, okay, I will just put it in like that, so now um, if you build it, with redstone block or with a button here it will automatically update and open so that's it and 